I'm going to give you two companies that I think will 10x um, over the next five years, could be sooner. I think they'll 10x once we see a shortfall in graphite and as they get closer to production as we actually need the graphite out of the ground. Because currently, we do not need the graphite out of the ground. We've got enough graphite to go around, but as we get more and more electric vehicles, we need more graphite. So who's going to get it? To you. The money's going to flow into the graphite sector. You have to set up your bear trap by buying low now before the graphite run comes. And that's how you make money, in my opinion. And it's probably correct, my opinion as well, because you buy low when everything's down the dumps, and then you sell high when there's all the hype around it. Works for a lot of things. Crypto, stuff like that. Money's going to flow into the graphite sector. You just got to catch it. So which companies to do that with? We'll start with Vault Resources. Then we'll move into Mason Graphite. Who? So these companies, under $100 million. Uh, Mason Graphite, under $50 million. Um, so a good chance they'll both become billion-dollar companies. Once we see the shortfall in graphite and they're above other graphite projects, meaning the world says, oh, we need that graphite, we use this project because it's way better than that project. So Mason Graphite and Vault Resources. So we'll start with Vault Resources. They've actually got a smaller working graphite mine. They own 70% in, in Ukraine. So they're probably making $5 million a year off this project. Not that much, but $5 million a year. That's pretty good on their market cap of uh, things. That's like a 5% return, even more. The graphite price runs. They're already in production. Um, so when you think about it, it's quite cheap. To build a graphite mine costs about $150 million, $100 million. So we've already got that out of the way. And they're making money from it. So, pretty big bonus there. So, you can read through this Ukraine. It actually wasn't affected by the war, this area. Um, yeah, the war might get worse. You could buy in for less. But that's just a small part of the business because if we look at the numbers here, so you buy the company for a hundred. Under $100 million now. You spend $173 million to build the mine. And then you make $195 million a year. Um, so where's the life of mine? Twenty For 22 years. So good chance the world's going to choose this company to get the graphite from. It's only $100 million now. Good chance this company will go to a $1 billion. So you bought in with 100000 you can buy a bit now, buy a bit next year because maybe the stock market's going to go down. Don't know. But around 2030, it will go up. So obviously it's not overnight. Though it could happen faster than we think. Once there's a shortfall, prices will just probably go berserk. So this company, high chance that they will get into production. High chance you buy it now. Probably by about 2030, you'll have 10x your money. In my opinion. So what other company can you go with? So they got pretty low grade, but the numbers still stack up huge. It's in Africa, so low CapEx. If you look at the African companies, CapEx is a lot lower than in Canada, because the Africans work for less than the Canadians. Aren't they good? So now let's go. Mason Graphite. So they're gonna sell half their project to Nuvamon Graphite. Because Nuvamon Graphite is going to give them the money to do a 250,000 tons per annum uh, feasibility study. So if you do 250,000 tons and you make uh, $2,000 on a ton, that's a $500 million a year. So they'll have a 50% share in that. Um, graphite price might run for a bit and those numbers will look even bigger. So a good chance Mason Graphite with the new person giving the money to get the project into production. Um, when we run out of graphite, Tesla will be like, okay, we'll do a deal. We'll deal, we'll deal with you for the graphite. We'll give you the money to build the mine. Just give us some offtake, and that's where the price goes up. Offtake comes out with the big automaker. Price goes up. That's how it works. So, Mason Graphite. Let's look at the share price. MLS, probably a low chance to get in production. 
Look at all right project. Let's look at Mason Graphite. So you can buy Mason Graphite now for 40 million. They have 50% share. They'll own 50% share in a project that could make half a billion dollars per year. So there's gonna definitely probably 10x in my opinion. So why it's in Canada, it's got high grade. Long mine life, so 250,000 tons that will last them like 40 years. Good chance they're going to get in production. Good chance all the car makers will say, Yep, let's do a deal with Mason Graphite. The project looks the best, etc. etc. So that's my opinion. Vault resources, Mason Graphite. There's some other players out there. A few honorable mentions BEM. So numbers aren't as good, but they got low cap VEX there. Only 60,000 tons per annum. I'm not sure how much VRC was doing. How many tons were they doing? Tons per annum. 170,000. So BEM. So that's another thing. These guys could just bring out another study with more tons. And bring, out big, bring a big, uh, bigger number. Sorry. So look at all the tons they got. Plenty there. They just haven't done a feasibility study for it. So this could be another one. And this company is only about 30 million, I believe. So BEM. I don't want to close that one. 26 million. Always look at this one for the real market cap. They got about 10 million in cash. So yeah, VRC is 100 million, but these guys could 3x to 100 million. So there could be more X's with this company. They don't have to do as much X's to a billion, you get the point. Money's gonna flow in, set your trap up, um, wait for the demand to come, and retire. So another honorable mention is IG6 and the SX. I believe they're about 50 million, but they're in Australia. Australia might push them along again to production. They got downstream within the business, so they're not partnering with someone else to go downstream. They got a big project. Um, that they'll grow with more drilling. So a decent one here in Australia, a nice place. Probably going to have a low capex. Um, yeah, they might get a free loan like RNU, Renaissance got a free loan to $200 million to build the project. These guys might also get this loan. And when that announcement comes, this share price goes up. When an offtake announcement comes, this share price goes up. So you buy in before this announcement comes, thinking, yeah, good chance this company's going to partner with someone, and that's where you make the money. So the graphite for your Tesla only costs about roughly $1,000. Um, so easy to say that if you're spending $60,000 on Tesla, if the cost of the graphite goes up triple, it's an extra three grand. Oh, you have to pay 63 grand for your Tesla. Three grand more. Well, and if you don't have the graphite, the Tesla doesn't move. So you need to buy it, and people pay whatever price when that demand comes. So just know, graphite might be a great sector to invest in. You want to get someone to get it in production, because if they're not getting it out of the ground cheaper than someone else, why would you use them? Tell me. Why? Let's spend more money on this project and get less return. So you want to pick the production. The ones are going to get in production, so... Annual demand will be 8 million tons a year, about 2030. So some of these companies have more tons of that in the ground. So it's it's about which one can get out of the cheapest, location, grade, etc, etc. So that's it for this video. Bear in mind, stock market, rates are rising. When rates rise, shares go down, people spend less, invest less. Um, borrow less money to do investments because they're not going to make money on the investments. You get the point. So stock market could drizzle down. Same with the graphite shares. And that's where we set the traps up. Then we wait for the graphite demand. And we celebrate. So that's it for me in this video. And hope you got a few interesting points out of it. And see you in the next one. There's other battery minerals that might go well. Maybe phosphate. Phosphate's pretty big industry though, already used for um, fertilizer. We've got lithium iron phosphate battery. Iron's a pretty big industry already. 
So probably graphite is going to have the most growth out of all of them. Copper is going to have growth, but that's a big industry already. Elements, elements. So look here, and then also we're going to go to sodium iron batteries because sodium iron there's a lot more abundance in the elements used to make a sodium ion battery where lithium ion batteries, if we're talking lithium ion phosphate, lithium is the most scarce thing in there. Nickel's really scarce, so that's why we move into lithium ion phosphate because it's all up here. And then we want to move to sodium ion because all the elements are in this thing, meaning it's going to be cheaper. They just have to figure out how to make it work for a long time. They don't want the cell degrading, etc and then mass produce it, which will probably about happen in about 2030 as well. But we're still gonna need the graphite. Silicon, sodium ion batteries use a hard carbon, which I'm not sure if that comes from graphite or where it comes from. But just note, lithium ion batteries need graphite, 50% natural, 50% synthetic. Don't need the nickel, you can get this less energy dense batteries. Without nickel, so see you later nickel, and Graphite, we still need you. So that's it for this video, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. And I might, once I get it monetized on a thousand subscribers, I might even edit these videos. That's the goal, anyway. And if not, Graphite might save me. Amen.